Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is January, January, listen to me, February 5th. It is Friday, uh, 2021. I've been getting the year down pretty good. I just keep screwing up the other stuff. But, uh, so, anyway, uh, uh, sad to announce today, unfortunately, uh, that Miss Bella has passed on. I, uh, when Heather came and picked her up, I think it was Monday night that she had picked her up or something like that. It was either Sunday or Monday. I think it was Monday that she came and got her. Uh, unfortunately, I knew that cat was on her way out. Uh, I have dealt with enough death in my time uh, with animals and human beings, obviously, that I see uh, the signs and, uh, you know, you can kind of tell um, when it is uh, getting to that point. And unfortunately, I, I honestly don't know what happened to this cat. I mean, she went down really, really fast. And uh, they actually had uh, an appointment with the vet this morning, but she passed through the night. And so um, I know it's uh, affected Heather greatly. I mean, she just, that cat was her whole world. Uh, she loved that cat beyond anything else. She's had her since she was eight years old, so it's uh, it's a difficult thing for her. Look, we got we got Abel back there, Miss Molly, and Mr. Buddy. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, very sad. I, I feel bad for Heather. Uh, and uh, Bella was a good cat, and I just kind of try to remind her to, you know, you're gonna want to try to remember the good times, not. Uh, the fact that the cat, you know, the way that... And it what bothered Heather, I think, more than anything else is the way that the cat, you know, just was, um, you know, just laying there, uh, not eating, not drinking, and, you know, and crying out. And uh, so, you know, she... At least she got her closure. And I think that that is important. But uh, it's very, very sad. I, I, you know, I feel bad. But there's not a whole lot you could do. There was, there was really... Um, there wasn't much we could do for that at that point. I don't know what uh, could have changed it. I don't think anything could have changed the outcome of that. And uh, I don't know what happened with her. But it was pretty quick. It was really, really quick. But uh, Anyway, I do want to remind everybody I will be live streaming tonight uh, at 8 p.m. We're going to be talking about is there a reset coming. And we're going to get into that topic a bit. And uh, so we will, we will share information. Uh, I definitely look forward to your guys' feedback from that. And so I look forward to seeing everybody tonight at 8 p.m. And we will have that uh, that discussion. And uh, so, of course, that's Eastern time. So uh, I definitely look forward to seeing you guys all then. Uh, so uh, today, again, not a bad day here today. It was a little bit of sun peeking out earlier, but you can see now uh, it has gotten pretty overcast. And uh, I wanted to go over something. I wanted to show you guys something, what uh, what I'm thinking. Because, of course, I listened to your guys' comments. And we're talking about the greenhouse. What's up there, G Aby? Aby? What's going on, little boy? I keep forgetting they're, like, almost two years old already. We got everybody wants to go in, apparently. Going in? Yeah? Come on. Abe, you coming? Come on, Abe. Get in. All right. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, getting back to what I was talking about here. I listened to your guys' comments. And so what I'm thinking I'm going to need to do is I'm going to have to put some kind of sealer all in here first before I put uh, the uh, insulation and stuff in there so that it is protected that way and I think that's going to be the game plan because uh, uh, there's a lot of a lot of moisture with that so I think that's what I'm gonna have to do and unfortunately to do that part I needed to be warmer weather because uh, for a sealer to dry it needs to be warmer 
So on that part, I think I may have to wait for right now. I obviously I have the the uh, insulation and I have the boards, but I uh, I can still work on getting. Okay, so I'm going to show you this. So most of the snow is off of the top. We got a couple spots where you can see it's still darker up there, but for the most part, most of the snow has sloshed off already. Uh, we had a bunch more slosh off today, so. And uh, so, I, again, I want to remind people, um, and I don't know if it's true or not, the guy that I bought the greenhouse from said this lumber and stuff, it's echo-treated. So it's not just untreated 2x4s. It's supposed to be uh, that it can withstand the moisture and all that type of stuff, and it's supposed to be okay uh, with that. We will see, <laughs> you know, as far as that goes. But... Um, I will be getting that second layer of plastic up in here soon. I do promise you that will happen soon. And then I have another project that I will be doing in here soon. And I will be sharing that information with you as we get to that point. Um, that should all be happening within the next couple of weeks. So there's something in the pipeline. I'm kind of waiting and I will share it with you when I have more definite information. But... Uh, that's what we're going to be working on. So we got some stuff to do, and uh, I will share that all with you as we do it. And it should be fun. It should be fun. I think you'll you'll appreciate the project and what's going on. But uh, I, I can't say a whole lot at this point yet. But uh, as soon as I know more, I will let you guys know more. But, uh, yeah, so all along the bottom here, you can see where the snow outside is just up that high. Um, all the way around here outside. But, uh, so that's what's going on, um, as far as that goes. You know, we have had, uh, we got some, after today, the weather, the temperature is supposed to go down again. So we're going to have a lot colder weather. A lot of the snow has come off of here. You can see it hasn't, it slid out here. That's going to all fall off at some point. So, uh, but today's been warmer and everything's melting. So I anticipate that that will probably break off as well in, uh, but you can see all the ice clumps and stuff down through here from where it came down and came off. So, And these gutters are crap. Um, just, <laughs> just so you know, they're in bad shape. So I probably will be uh, replacing them in the spring. They just don't hold up. Um, they just don't. So, but, uh, you know, I'm going to just do what I can can do and uh, we can go, we'll go from there. But uh, you can see... Like that piece, this whole gutter piece right here, the whole thing came down uh, with the ice jam and uh, it broke off. I put it back up for now, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. But these the, these gutters have come down, oh my God, three, four times. And I put more braces and it just, it broke that brace right off because the, of the weight of everything. But, um, you know, I'll put another one back in there in the spring and... We'll go from there, but uh, as you can see, the piece of wood is sitting right up on top of the sign. It just it just sheared it right off. But like I said, you look at over here, and the weight of all that ice and stuff there, and then when that other ice comes down, it'll all it'll just do it automatically all at one time, and that kind of happens. Uh, but uh, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. So, anyway, and the gutters are clean. It's not like there was any kind of crap in the gutters. It just, this is what happens. It, it uh, you know, it comes off, it melts, and then uh, it all gets into the gutters. And that's why you put up all the extra support braces. And, um, you know, that's, that, that's where we're at. But, uh, fun times. But anyway, so it's a little bit windier today. Uh, we have colder weather coming. Uh, they're talking about an arctic blast happening. They're talking about the possibility of a major, major snowstorm hitting us uh, this next week. So we're going to just kind of, you know, we're going to play it by ear. We'll see what happens. Uh, as the snow and everything, as you can see, there's just a little bit more on the top there. That all came down. It reburied the pass. I've dug the pass out a couple of times since then and even in the front here. Uh, when all the snow came off of the greenhouse. And you can see it really isn't that thick up there. Uh, and it's basically because of the dimensions of the greenhouse that it really doesn't build up. So when people were talking about, oh, that plastic's not going to hold, um, it's not super thick. So um, we're fortunate in that aspect. And because of the shape 
uh, of the geodesic dome like that, it can hold a tremendous amount of weight. Uh, so, you know, there, that's not an issue either. So, you know, like I said, we'll, uh, everything will come together. I promise you guys this, okay, the number one project that is going to happen before anything else happens is going to be the greenhouse, okay? So it's just uh, a matter of writing out uh, the, uh, you know, the super, super cold weather and getting to a point where we can get in there and work and get things done. What do you got? What do you got? What are you doing? So I just put them out a little while ago so that they got a chance to uh, get their exercise and run and do their business. But, uh, you know, like I said, not a bad day. Oh, so I'll give you um, the egg count for yesterday really quickly. So I don't think I ever told you guys. Yesterday we only ended up with two eggs yesterday. So uh, it just wasn't, you know, like I said, the weather has not... I mean, yesterday was sunny, but it just, you know, we haven't had a great stretch of fantastic weather. So uh, unfortunately, the, uh, you know, the birds are like, okay, it's crap. We're not going to lay a whole bunch of eggs, but uh, what are you going to do? So anyway... Uh, I will see you guys all tonight for the live stream. I think we'll have a good discussion. But, uh, you know, dealing with loss, um, it, it, it's never an easy thing. When you have a pet that you've had for a long time, they're literally like your children. And, uh, you know, Heather literally smothered that cat with attention. Uh, she would not let that cat out of her sight. You know, and then when the cat, when she went off to college, obviously... You know, then the cat was like, okay, well, she's gone. I'll hang out with you. <laughs> and so she did. So for the last couple of years, you know, she's been spending more time with me. But uh, when Heather's home, whenever Heather was home, uh, Bella was in there with her. And uh, so, you know, it's I, I feel so bad for her because I know how upset she is. But uh, unfortunately, that is part of life is loss and having to deal with it and uh, process it. And, you know, and not, like I try to tell her today. I go, remember the good times. You know, don't focus on, uh, you know, the, uh, the things, you know, the, the, the sad ending. I said, focus on all those good times that you had with that cat and the good memories. And uh, so hopefully she does that. But uh, very sad. I feel bad for her. Uh, because like I said, that cat was her. She loved that cat. I mean, literally she got that cat when she was eight years old. So, you know, that's, uh, you know, more than half her life she's had that cat. And, uh, you know, unfortunately it happens. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off. I will see you all tonight at 8 o'clock, and we'll have a good discussion. And we'll be talking about the reset. Is there a reset coming? And what are my thoughts on that and sharing information and all that type of stuff. So uh, anyway, remember, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. And as soon as we can focus on that and not let them continue to manipulate us, uh, we'll be in much, much better shape. Because then we could actually be a formidable force to uh, fight the corruption. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. And lastly, STD. Step, thing, and day. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, again, it doesn't have to be living off-grid. It doesn't have to be prep, uh, prepping related. It is goals that you are trying to obtain. Um, you need to work methodically, and you can reach those goals. And the only person that can stop you from reaching those goals is you. Nobody else can stop you. Stay positive. Stay away from negative people that are going to tell you that you cannot accomplish what you want to accomplish. Uh, don't listen to that negativity because there's a lot of bitter, unhappy people in the world don't let them influence you on what you can do or what you can't do. So, anyway, stay positive. I will see you guys all later. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. Oh, excuse me.